The Fibre Time business model seeks to bring fibre internet access to people who historically can't afford it. Our model is different to traditional fibre to the home operators. We sell on a pay-as-you-go basis, so there are no upfront subscriptions, there are no monthly fees. Our customers buy as and when they need the internet service. We build routers and a battery backup into every house and that creates a mesh network with a single SSID uh, that allows our customers to have an element of mobility as well in, in the fiber network. Bringing low cost internet to communities that haven't had it before has a substantial impact. People are now able to access job portals and build TVs. Our customers uh, are using free streaming services to bring music and, and TV and entertainment into their lives. Online education is a really big category. And then of course, the normal social media consumption habits are also very popular with our customers. We only proceed with building a project once the community has given us their social approval. Our model has a direct impact on employment in the community. So during the construction phase, lots of people have a job for the three, four months while we're building. But afterwards, we employ people from the community to do the maintenance and the support. We incubate small businesses and resellers, and ultimately there's a value share in the community that stays beyond just our construction project. Our deployment model is a single truck roll. It's aerial fiber, gets every home with a municipal electrical connection connected. That means there's an aerial fiber drop, a router and a battery backup into any shack, formal home, small business. Once the equipment is in the home, we have a sales team that then helps activate it and shows our customers how to log on and load their wallets and so on. I think the one piece of tech that brings it all together is our digital payment platform, Vulacoin. It is an open access platform, so if there are other operators who would like to copy the model and use it, Vulacoin is available for them as well. We've enjoyed absolute support from Nokia. In fact, through Nokia, we, we found one of our shareholders, FinFund. Um, Nokia has been responsive around uh, bringing us the right products, helping design and engineer the right solutions, uh, helping open up other doors in other markets potentially. So overall, a great commercial relationship with, with Nokia and we're very grateful for that. Building fiber in townships in South Africa is not an easy task at all. Township residents have historically been marginalized. Often companies that have come in previously have done a, a rush job or given them a substandard service. The only way we've managed to get through that is by building deep trust with the community, walked a long road with them, and as we've kept our promises so the communities realize that, that we actually are who we say we are and, and have welcomed in what we've brought to the market.